I'm with you. All right. I'm, Woo, we are live. Is it on the Facebook page? Well, I would hope so since we're live. Okay. Well, I just want to see. Okay. We're yes, live. it is. Sure. We are live. Sure All now. right. Well, welcome out, my babies. We are here and we are live. We're going to be talking about some It'll fun stuff today. Babies. Artificial intelligence and how you can use it. And, uh, yeah. So I just yeah. got another yeah. text message while I'm doing this. Uh, was it Adam again? <laughs> it was not. It was not. It was somebody oh. else this time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, actually, it's kind of funny. This is messages for you. Hulu. Hulu advertising, if you're paying attention, you keep charging the wrong card. I literally ended a campaign, started a whole new campaign, put a new card on there for the new campaign, and you still charged the card that I didn't have on there anymore. Hulu. Cut it out. Hulu. Cut it out. Cut what out? Charging the wrong card. No. I literally took the card out of there. They still charge the wrong card. Cut it out sounds painful. Yeah, well... It might need some pain in order for them to figure it out. I've been trying to stop them and get them on the right card for like five months now. Oh, boy. Anyway, all right, so that's enough of that talk. We're going to be talking about artificial intelligence. And, uh, you know, sometimes artificial intelligence is smarter than we are. And we're going to talk about why that is and how you can put that to use for you. And in my case, got a good story, so. in my case, it wouldn't take much to be smarter than me. I know, right? Yeah. All right, we ready to hit this show on the get the show on the road. I can't even speak. Yep. All right, here we go. Get ready, Steve. Oh, not this. Just kidding, just kidding. All right, here we go. We ready? Mm -hmm. And in a five, a four, a three. On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to be talking about artificial intelligence and how you can use that for a lot of your marketing, perhaps even video. Hmm. And speaking of video, if you want to shoot better video, well, you got to go visit our good friends at Movo who can provide you with some amazing microphones, lights, stands, and a whole lot more so that you can shoot professionally with your smartphone, with your DSLR, with your camcorder, any way that you shoot can be done better if you use the right microphones, the right stands, and the right lights, and Movo's got you covered. In fact, if you use your smartphone, they have entire packages that give you everything that you need for your smartphone, and that would include a stand and a microphone and a light all in one big package, a big bracket to put everything on. It is awesome. So check out those video kits by heading on over to raiselinks.com slash Movo where you can see that and a whole lot more. Mobile. And speaking of a now, whole lot more, how about a whole here, lot more music, Steve? Are we ready okay. for the theme song? Mobile, hit it. Here we go. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. YouTube Ninja Tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper. Check out my YouTube channel, Steve Sleeper Trains. Ray, <sighs> loves it. Ray, Ray watches more trains. it more daily. Trains. More trains. Hey, um, I, I was going to tell a Movo story there when you were talking oh. about Movo, but uh, let, probably better to tell it right now. Go for it. I, I've got a call with our good friend, attorney Joey Franks, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central. And we're going to talk about doing case study videos. Oh, case study. Now, like um, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of ascertain what he's got as far as equipment. I think he's already bought everything, but let's set that aside for a second. Um, what he's going to do is just set up his, his rig. So it's essentially going to be uh, a ring light, you know, a holder for the, uh, for the phone and a microphone, you know, what, the stuff that Movo has. I think Perfect. he's got a shotgun mic on his, but uh, it, it's a rig like what Movo's got. And 
my experience with Movo is their is, their equipment is as good as anything out there, but it's not as expensive. Is that still the That's case? Pretty much the case. And, pretty much and the they've, case. They've started to get a bigger name, so we'll see if those prices start to go up. Because they yeah, deserve it. Right, they deserve right. it. They need some. Oh, yeah. They need to make more scratch I, on that. I I no, I. They, I've, I bought some Movo stuff, and oh, yeah. I really, I, I mean, it's like, it's like a tank. I mean, it's just <laughs> built like a, you know, like a old refrigerator from the 50s. It's just impossible to break. So, um, but, but what we're going to do is we're going to figure out a way for him to do case studies, and it may be just as simple, and I hope it is, as just setting up his phone and talking about case studies. Uh, and and with DUI lawyers, they've always got case studies because the cops always make a mistake, you know, with, with something or other. And he's yeah. got one case study where the cop didn't have a probable cause for pulling the guy over. The guy wasn't drunk. He just decided he wanted to arrest him, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've seen a and, lot of that, uh, oddly enough. It's, it's so strange to me that because you go onto YouTube and you look that up, there's a ton of these DUI video things where the, yeah. where the cop pulls somebody over and says, oh, I think you've been drinking, and they'll even give him a breathalyzer, and, well, I still think something's wrong. I'm arresting you yeah. anyway. <laughs> they can't do that. I mean, they can't even pull them over. They have to have probable cause, improper right. lane change or yep. or didn't use a signal or something. They've got to have probable cause. And that's that's the biggest mistakes they make. So what I would like him to do, let's see how it goes, because I'll update you on this, is I would like him to just, you know, when he's got spare moments, pull out his phone, talk about a case study, drop it in bo- Dropbox to me. And uh, I've done one already where I took the video, I, I got it transcribed, and then I turned it into a blog post and a Google business profile post, and I put it on YouTube, and I put it everywhere. It got views. It got clicks. It got, I, I mean, it got, you know, typically where... His videos, you know, they, they get some views, but um, three times the views he normally gets, three times the click he clicks he normally gets on a blog post. And we didn't do anything to promote it other than backlinks to social media. So um, th- this could be really interesting. And then, now, here's why I'm talking about it in terms of Movo. What I can do with these attorneys is say, hey, Here's uh, here's a place where you can buy everything you need. Send them your link, and uh, you know they can. You, you can. Th- th- this is something that I can add that's value added. Uh, I mean, you get a, you get a little money out of it, but um, it, it's value added in that I'm saying, look, this is as good of equipment as you're going to buy for less money, and uh, that would be part of the whole consulting type things so just a little idea i'm passing along i, I like that and that, that actually gave me an idea I won't, I won't mess around with it here but i got i've got something fun that he if he's willing to put some time in i got something fun that could work really well for him i think well let's talk to him good. about it yeah yeah, yeah I think we'll now, he's he he's up for just about anything and he's quite the character joey franks um as he said Hey, look, I'll make no bones about it. I know I'm a big guy, but I'm fat. <laughs> and so I'm just going to call myself the big man at Big Man Law. And so if you, you go. uh, if you Google Big Man Law, he's the only <laughs> big man law out there. And, and, and his logo is a big round guy with suspenders. So Yep. And he uh, he's the nicest guy in the world. I mean, he loves people. He worked. Um, He's got a blue collar background. His mom raised him by working in a paper mill for 40 years. He worked in that paper mill. And then he was a conductor and engineer on the railroad, Mississippi Delta and CSX. So him and I have a lot to talk about. In fact, I met him in Denver. They were out there for a conference, him and his wife. And my wife and I met him, and him and I talked about locomotives. See, this is how I get back at Ray for playing the best song in the world. I talk about trains. But uh, and if you don't want to know what the best song in the world is, it's terrible. But uh, this is about the best song in the world, and Ray likes it. There, here we go. Here it is. That's right. It's time once again. This is the best song ever made in the world. Yeah, so baby. I, so I, I I got back at you, but. He he did that before the show started, Timmy. Um, by the way, so so that's uh, that's one thing. Okay, so that's a story. Now let's let's get into the whole AI thing because before the program, yes. I was 
you know, what I was telling Ray, and, and I'll pass this along, I've been trying to figure out how get to get more leads via email, okay? And the thing that I, I and, and, and I am really as honest as the day is long, because if I lie, I look like a deer in the headlights. It's, it's you know, I mean, there's the character issue, but then there's just Unless a practicality. That's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. So, uh, uh, but, but, uh, so what, what I've done probably for the last five, 10 years, I don't know, is I send out emails to attorneys that I want to talk to and say, I'd like to interview them for my Ask a Lawyer with Steve Sleeper podcast. And I, I picked up a couple b- pieces of business, but um, it's, it's been kind of pulling teeth. So what I'm trying right now is, um, I sent him an email, I'd like to interview you, and, and you can put it on your Facebook, and that's all you want to do. It's perfectly fine. However, what I have been doing is transcribing it, uh, breaking it up, uh, and using it as Google business profile posts, making videos out of it as well, cross-linking them. It works really well. Uh, it's pushed up. I mean, it took a, uh, well, that and some views, uh, searches and clicks. It uh, took one... Uh, Lawn service company, Ogden, Utah, from number 23 to number 3. So it's on page 1. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's really and good. Um, so I said then, you know, how I can make these last forever is just put them through Spin Rewriter, uh, spit them out, proof them, put them up. And Ray goes, you you don't need Spin Rewriter. You need AI. And I said, oh, that's I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm suspicious of AI. <laughs> so he said, well. This is a timely program. Then. Yes, yes, it is. No, I, you know, AI is, I mean, everything says, AI. first of all, let, let's kind of, you know, figure out what AI is. Uh, every product on planet Earth seems to come out and say, you know, oh, it is AI based. You know, it's like, hey, get your right. can of Coca Cola now AI based. You know, come on. <laughs> uh, it, it seems like everything is AI based, but we're talking about uh, more specifically, you know, the popularity of Chat GPT, which has been out for the last little while, which is just, oh my goodness, what a, it is going to change so many things. I feel terrible for any school teacher for the next couple of years <laughs> because oh. I, can write a, I can write a school report right now in about 13 seconds without ever reading the book. Uh, now, the thing about that is supposedly, and I don't believe this for one second, supposedly teachers will be able to take the written papers and figure out if they're made by, you know, an AI. <laughs> and I just kind of laughed and said, yeah, okay. Do you know how many people are going to get falsely accused and, and school systems are going to be sued every time they try to do this? Um, you know, it's going to be a very difficult thing for, for teachers and whatnot because, you know, you could literally go into a chat bot, uh, chat GPT right now and say, you know, write a book report about, you know, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as written by a six-year-old. Uh, not a six-year-old, a, a sixth grader. Six a sixth grader. That would be impressive. Okay. A sixth that grader. Would. And it will write the entire report kind of sounding like what a sixth grader would write. Wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. incredible. And as if, as if being know, a teacher isn't difficult enough right now. <laughs> I know, right? Mm-hmm. So that's going to make it a lot more difficult. But Both, you know, of, both of my Tyson, daughters... Both of my daughters are teachers, so yeah. you know, I hear about Well, Neil deGrasse time. Tyson said the other day, he says, rather worrying about whether people are using chat GPT to write reports, why aren't we worrying about you know, teaching kids stuff in a way that makes them want to actually do the work? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but, yeah. you know, hey, yeah. what are you going to do? I, I don't think that's ever really going to happen. Um, well, we're always going to, you know. My, uh, oh, yeah, I know. My daughter, um, my youngest daughter is a um, high school English teacher at Lincoln High, Lincoln, Nebraska, which is sort of the urban school in Lincoln. I mean, it's it's the downtown old school. Big and I city. guess if you're going if yeah, yeah, big city. Well, if you're uh, if you're going to te- she wanted to teach in an urban environment where she has a lot of immigrant kids and stuff cuz that's kind of her passion. And I guess if you're going to do that, Lincoln, Nebraska is a good place to do that. And um I yeah, mean, those, that's those border cities like Lincoln, Nebraska, you know? Yeah, that's, that's right. You know, we still, <laughs> we, you know what uh, Lincoln gets is a lot of um, uh, immigrants from the Persian Gulf area. Um, and, um, you know, so a lot yeah, that, of, she's that got doesn't a, surprise me. She, she's got a lot of Iraqi kids. Uh, I, I don't remember what else she told me, but um, 
a- anyhow, what she's doing is doing, she loves her kids, first of all. She's got some with real problems. And, but what she's trying to do is make these kids want to learn so much. And she, 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 it's not make, it's just, you know, the way she teaches and she really relates to the kids and stuff. But anyhow, I'm, I'm, yeah. I've got us off but, on a tangent. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, and that's fine because it is, it, it's an issue. Um, but there's so many positives about the AI stuff. I mean, you know, one of the things that we've been doing is we've been writing a lot of our blog posts, not blog posts, but uh, um, uh, social media posts and articles directly from chat gpt just okay put in a subject and boom there it is you know okay so here here's the deal and here's now i'm going to try to throw a wrench in the middle of the street you know in the middle of your ai street is a speed bump from steam sleeper um i've tried doing that with dui lawyer criminal defense lawyer not a whole lot there I, you know, and I, maybe I was trying the wrong AI software or whatever. Could but well be because I've, I can... I've, I've tried four or five different ones that were advertised in Facebook, okay? Mm-hmm. So, um, and it came back with one article, and that's all. And then I said, well, write me another article. Well, that's all we got, you know. <laughs> now, it could have been operator error. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. Could well be. Hmm. So I'm going to type one in here just for the fun. Okay, of it. yeah, cool. Write an article about hiring a DUI lawyer. Yeah, good, good. Now, good keep in time. mind, I, I have an insatiable desire for content. You know, I mean, it's boom, 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 boom. You know, so that I got one article. I used it. It was the same article the next time, you know, so I couldn't use it after that, you know. See what I'm really? saying? Yeah, I've never I've never experienced that. It's although I am experiencing the fact that it's not doing anything right now because it locks up every once in a while because it's got so oh. much use going on. So we'll see if it does anything shortly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we we can come but back to it. Point being is, you know, you can go in and you can do that. And what's great about this is, for instance, you know, um, I'm one of my new clients is a is another insurance guy, and we wanted I wanted a bunch of blog po- uh, social media posts. So I said, write twenty short social media posts about life insurance or whatever and Mm -hmm. it just just made all these out there and what's great about that is you can take that stuff you can put it into a csv file you could go into a program like canva Mm -hmm. bring in that csv file choose a template that you like and it's just going to make you know put each one of those into that template and make a whole bunch of graphics for you boom 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 boom, and you're done i mean it's really incredible what it can do you know, if you do it, if you use it the right way, and of course, if it's not down like it currently seems to be, <laughs> which happens a lot lately, because there's, I mean, yeah. there's so many people using these things. You go on there a lot of times, and it's just like we're too full right now. We can't let you in. Too full, and you can't get in until somebody goes away. But uh, yeah, you can write these blog posts. You can write articles. You can write fo- social media posts. Scripts for videos. That's huge. People are writing scripts for their videos all the time. Uh, descriptions for YouTube videos. I use it for that. If I want to get a, a nice description on a YouTube video, I'll tell it to write, you know, a, a short article about whatever that video is about, and boom, there it is. Um, keyword research. You can do that on there. You know, what are the top keywords for whatever subject? Uh, we did it for. I did it for hashtags just a few minutes ago um, for flipping houses, and it gave me like forty different hashtags to use in social media posts. Of different kinds. Now, could I have done the social media tags and, and figured them out? Sure. But here's the thing. If I wanted to come up with 40 hashtags for these social media posts, I would be sitting there typing it for a while. This thing will spit those out way faster than I could ever type them. Way mm-hmm. faster. So even if I'm smart enough to be able to pull 40 if I wanted to, I'm not going to be able to do it nearly as fast. Right. And, and that's what makes it really cool. And again... You know, spinning an article. If you've got an article, you can say, rewrite this article, and it'll do that. It'll go through and rewrite the article. Um, And you can do all sorts of really cool things inside of the program, too. So, for instance, let's say you said, uh, you know, give me, oh, I don't know, give me five, hmm, uh, I'm trying to think of something good here. Give me me a list of five um, 
the best pizza toppings, right? And it'll say, okay, the five most popular pizza toppings are pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, olives, whatever. Well, then you can just type in something like expand on number one. And it's going to tell you all about pepperoni. <laughs> and you say expand on number two. And it's going to tell you all about, you know, olives or whatever, that mushrooms, olives. And so you can continue the conversation and get more and more information. And that's how people are doing things like writing books. So they're writing entire ebooks this way. So they'll say, give me an outline for a book about X. And it'll, psh, 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 psh. it'll make the outline. And then you can say, all right, write a couple paragraphs about this one. Boom, it's going to do that. And next thing you know, you got a whole ebook that you can put out. People wow. are writing cookbooks. People are writing all sorts of really cool stuff with the AI systems. So you can do a lot of different things. And so that, that example that you were talking about, I, I blinked for a second. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> my, my wife was at the door, and I'm like, um, so you can write a book from that. You just put in uh, sure. some stuff to write the book from, and boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's what now, you're talking Now, don't get me wrong. You, you, you're probably not going to be able to go in. In fact, I know you're not going to be able to go in there and go, you know, write me a 20-chapter book on X. It's just going to say, you know, I'm not equipped yeah. to, to do all of that. Um, you know, basically telling you it's not, even if it could do it, it's not going to do it for you. <laughs> yeah, so. right, right. Okay, okay. I but get it. it'll, it, you know, if you build it chapter by chapter and everything, it will definitely do that for you, though. Uh -huh. it'll definitely oh, I see. Help. Okay. So yeah. you can do, you, you can have it come up with an outline, then you can go in and you can expand on different things. You know, you could say, so for instance, you could come up with chapters and, you know, for, let's say, let's say I'm going to do a, uh, a book on, an ebook on uh, uh, using YouTube for businesses. I could say, you know, give me some, some uh, chapter ideas for a book on, you know, using YouTube for business. And it's going to do that. And then you could say, all right, give me some, some topic heading, some heading topics for number one. And if number one was, you know, setting up your channel, it's going to give you. And then you can say, all right, expand on number one. And it's going to write those paragraphs. Expand on number two. Write those paragraphs. And then you piece that together. Next thing you know, you got this nice book that's got all the chapters in it. I see. Okay. You know, I mean, it's it's very very cool stuff. Very very powerful. Um, and you know, a little bit scary too, because to be honest, it writes better than I do. <laughs> so that's what uh, really scares me. That is scary. So um, is this something you're promoting? Do you have a? No, no. Uh, this is just. I mean, Chat GPT is it's a free product right now. It's just what's it called? Chat GPT. How have you not heard of that? It's everywhere. Chat G P T T. Okay. Dot com? Uh, no, it's openai.com. Open Chat GPT is the product. AI.com. I'll put this in the. You know, I, I live a sheltered life, Ray. <laughs> I, I live in a hovel. I'm a hermit. With an old radio. See the old. For those of you that are watching the Facebook Live, I've got a 1933 Philco behind me. Cathedral radio, original wood, original everything. Still works. They built them like Sherman tanks back in those days. <laughs> the only issue is just finding the tubes when the tubes go out. And, and I wouldn't build a, a tank out of wood. That's probably not going to go very well for you. But no, a wooden <laughs> tank. Never heard of it. No, I, you know, ChatGPT, I mean, it's everywhere. They, to tell you how big this is, they launched it, well, now I was going to say six weeks ago. Now it's probably been like eight weeks. They, they kind of opened it up about eight weeks ago. And when they opened it up, they were a valueless company. They didn't, you know, have anything. They're now worth over $20 billion. So how, how do they make money if it's free? Well, because it's not going to be free forever. <laughs> I see. Right. And there's going to be a lot of different uses and, and, and whatnot for it. Um, Microsoft is investing $10 billion into them, supposedly. Wow. If it goes through. I don't know if it went through or not yet, but $10 Crazy. billion. Because they want to have AI built into Microsoft Word. So you could be using Microsoft Word and be like, you know, give me chapters for this. And psh, and as you're writing, you know, you can build it right out in there. So that's the type of things that they want to do because it's going to be – the integration into other things as much as it is the program itself. And that's where things are going to get pretty cool. Mm -hmm. pretty well, cool. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and like I said, if you got a, a, an article, you can say rewrite this and it's going to spin it around. You can say, if you say, you know, uh, give me 10 
subjects about using YouTube for business, it's going to list 10 out and you can go, give me 10 more. And it's going to list out 10 more. And you can get pretty specific with it and you can really talk to it like a person. So one of the big things that a lot of people do with this to, to get the content they want out of it is they'll ask it to do something and then it will say, do you understand this? And it'll, and, and it'll actually respond, yes, I understand what you want is dot, 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 And then you get, okay, and then you can say, okay, do it. You know, and then it'll write the article. Because the, the one thing that you can't control if you don't tell it is the voice that they use on it. You know, uh, first person perspective, third person perspective, you know, it's not, it's going to do whatever it wants if you don't tell it, you know. So you've got to make sure that you have the right voice for it. Um, you know, for instance, if you said, um, you know, write an article about the best carpet cleaner, right? Well, you got to be a lot more specific because it may write about machines when you wanted to talk about the liquid you can buy in the store. Or it might talk about the, the best carpet cleaner, human beings, <laughs> instead of the machine. or the. So you got to be a lot more specific with it to tell Because, I mean, even a human wouldn't know that. If I said... Go tell me the five best carpet cleaners, and I wanted machines, and you came back with, well, you buy, you know, this bottle, a bottle of this and a bottle of that. Well, no, I didn't want bottles. Well, yeah, but you didn't say that. So it is just like a person in that regard. You got to make sure that you're specific enough that it's going to pull the right information. Other limitation is its knowledge only goes up to 2021. So most things that happened exclusively in 2022 or 2023, it's not going to have knowledge of. Oh, okay. Which, you think it would mean it wouldn't have knowledge of itself. Hmm. But I've had it write articles about itself, so Okay. What do you think of that? That's a little weird. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So this is I mean, to me deep. this is changing everything because you can be writing articles, you can be writing posts, you can be writing stories. You, I I asked it for the escape room. I I said um, you know, give me a story prompt about uh and it was about our Camp Rutledge here. I said about a uh, a ghost at, in cabin number five at Camp Rutledge, and it wrote five different stories for me. Dang! Oh, and and it was and I'm not saying it didn't use what I told it. I mean, it did use what I told it, but I told it very little. It did creative writing, like it actually did creative writing. It came up with a story and everything. Wow! I mean, it's crazy. Nuts. Crazy. And and you know and and it's not just this writing stuff because. We use it for artwork, too. There's a lot of programs out there that use uh, artificial intelligence to create things. In, our, in my escape room back here, um, we've got one called the Beach Escape. And it's uh, a serial killer who dresses up as a clown. And when you get into one of the um, back areas of the room, it actually has... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Did you uh, see well, something? I said, I said, serial killer, and Siri opened up and said, "Okay, here's some articles about clowns." <laughs> so, but no, um, when we we needed pictures of really evil looking clowns, and uh -huh. I couldn't find them anywhere, so I went into uh -huh. one of the artificial intelligence um, image creators, and I was like, you know, create me a picture of three evil looking clowns with fangs and stuff like that. And it made amazing artwork for me. I mean, just incredible stuff I wouldn't have been able to get anywhere because I was trying to use these clowns as a code. So picture number one has two clowns in it. Picture number two has one clown in it. Picture number three has six clowns in it, that kind of thing. And so I had to literally say a picture of six evil looking clowns. And it made a picture of six clowns in there so that they could count and go, oh, there's six in this picture. Okay, one of the numbers must be six. Where are you going to find six evil-looking clowns anywhere yeah, else? But this crazy. will create it for you. It's absolutely amazing. And I've done that for, uh, we've got one called the Monster Detective. The graphics that we used on the website were all done by the, um, uh, by the artificial intelligence I mean, yeah, you incredible. were you were you were putting a lot of things out on Facebook at one time. You know, I was, you and, were... and it was funny watching people think I was actually painting these pictures. Uh, you know, like, yeah, I decided to paint some pictures, and I put out like four masterpiece-looking pictures, and the people believing that I painted them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I painted all four of these in the last ten minutes. You know, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, yeah. I mean, it does beautiful artwork. Like, I've made some amazing things that uh, you know could be used. In in fact, um. There was a, 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 I think it was back in like August or so, there was a guy in Colorado who won an art competition 
and it was all AI made. He just yeah, yeah. made artwork from AI. Yeah. And it does now it's it's not perfect. It's still infancy. This is early, early on. And we do see some weird things that happen sometimes. Like you might say, you know, uh draw me a you know, paint me a picture of a castle by a lake or something like that. And you'll look at it and like, wow, they drew it drew a castle by a lake. But if you look closely, you'll see like the castle doesn't make sense sometimes. Like there's a you know, a peak coming out of nowhere and there's like a tree with a window in it, you know, so it'll do weird things sometimes. You you, you posted some of those on Facebook too. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it'll strange. do weird things. And it, you know, it, it's, it's a bit like using Photoshop or Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, you know, it's only going to do as good as you are able to use the product. Give me, give me the name of that again. So that open AI.com. And they've got Chat GPT is the uh, is the one that writes the articles, and there's also one called Dali, which is D A L L dash E, but it's D-A-L-L pronounced like Salvador Dali. Dash E D A L L okay. Yep. Graphics. Or is maybe yeah, Dali, but it's supposed to be pronounced Dali. like Salvador Dali. Salvador and, Dali. And and I find that honestly, the Open AI one, I find that the Dali one tends to do weird things a lot more than some of the others I've used. Like Salvador so, Dali. Yes, very much so. Yes, like uh, Adam, my business partner, one of the things he 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 had an article written on the AI about real estate, and he wanted a picture of a family, a happy family on a couch, and it was the most grotesque looking thing you've ever seen. It was this family <laughs> sitting on a couch, but. It like made them smile and it messed with their eyes and, and it was all wacky and crazy. even better, even better. Yeah, yeah. I know, even better. Right? <laughs> so it'll do weird things. You got to be careful. But some of the ones that I've used, um, which may actually use Dolly as the background, I, I don't know it, that because a lot of the softwares that you see out there that are like, oh, artificial intelligence, art creation, they're not really doing it. They're creating a front end that taps into one of the uh, AI creators and just helps you to do it better. And uh, so it may, some of those may be using Dolly, but using Dolly on my own, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a whole lot of uh, really good luck with it. It, it kind of came out a little wacky and a little grotesque sometimes. But some of the other yeah. ones, you know, those programs, they've done great. Uh, I was using yeah. a few different programs to make all that artwork that I was posting, and that came out very, very good. So Cool. Very cool. But, yeah. A lot of fun. This has now, been a good show. Well, no, no, we ain't done yet. We ain't done oh, yet. So go, oh, oh no, but no, wait, no, no. there's more. You thought that was it? Oh, no. Because now there's the next step. That's right. There are AI video editors. They will take your footage and they will edit your video. And I was watching, um, I was watching a video about that, which was edited by the AI. And, you know, it's going to be kind of simple, at least for now. So, like, it basically took his raw footage and it took out all the blank areas and so it put them together and then it made adjustments to it so it didn't look like a jump cut and it made the whole video. Now, like he said, he's like, the problem is, let's say you do two takes of something, you know, and you say the same thing two times. It doesn't know that that's two takes, so it's going to put both of them into the video. So you get, you know, there are some things like that that you have to work on, but these things are only going to get better and better as time goes on. And, you know, it did a great job with the the videos that I watched so far. Uh, I haven't messed with it personally yet. I keep pulling it up because I want to mess with it. But yeah, that's kind of the next thing is it's going to start editing your video and, you know. What's that one? What's the name of that one? Uh, There's a few of them. I can't remember the, I think one's like Wave something or other, but I don't recall. Yeah. because I just haven't messed with those enough to to really know. But True. then on top of that, some other types of AI, for instance, is like, um, and, and I don't know if this is truly AI, but they call it AI, um, text to speech, which is getting better and better. Okay. And there are different product, products now that, you know, the problem with text to speech is it, it gets a bunch of text and it just reads the speech and it just goes through it and it does it like this the whole time because it doesn't know inflection. Well, there are new text-to-speech apps, and now you can tell it different inflection points. You know, make it sound happy, and then the, the voiceover will sound happy. Make it sound mad, and it'll sound mad. And you can adjust different things into it. It's like, okay, emphasize this word. And so now instead of saying, you know, um, Atlanta is the capital of – well, Atlanta is not the capital, but um, – you know, Albany is the capital of New York. It's going to say Albany is the capital of New York. You know, so it'll have emphasis in there. Um, 
and no, it landed. You know, you know anyway. Synth- I use Synthesis AI Studio. Yes, and I was going to mention and, that because that's got a lot of uh, that stuff in there. Well, and and I got to tell you, um, and, and and I use them just for these videos that I'm cross-linking to Google My Business posts. They get some views. The um, the graphics are okay. I mean, they're okay. Yeah. The voice, boy, you a lot of them you'd be hard pressed to tell it's not you know that it's AI. It's they're they're really good. In fact, oh, yeah. I I thought, boy, if I wanted a female voice, you know, I could just plug it into there and then pull out the the audio and use that. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. And and I've been using it for a lot of the escape room stuff, like. We had the uh, Area 51, which is like an alien-based one. I had the AI create all sorts of like the automated voices that you'd hear talking like from the computer and such. So the mm-hmm. computer would say yeah. things like, you know, oxygen levels are at 42. Oh, like cool. That. Cool. So it was, yeah, yeah. it was awesome. We did a lot of that. And I created a whole yeah. bunch of them. And it was awesome. It was really, really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That, that would lots be Lots of really things you can stuff. do. Yeah. But and this again, this is only the infancy. This chat GPT, you know, some of that other the text to speech and it's like, okay, you know, we've watched it as it's gotten better and better. You know, but this chat GPT is like from zero to a hundred overnight. And it's pretty incredible. And there's gonna be a lot more to that coming, you know, very, very soon. You're gonna see a lot more automatic um applications that are gonna use these AIs to take care of business for you. And it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Taking care, care of business. By Taking care Bachman of business. Turner Overdrive. Yeah. Taking care of business. That was that was popular when I was in college. That's how old I am. Yeah. yeah well, we like popular music. You know, everybody yeah. loves popular music. Oh yeah. Why do you do that? This is the best song ever made in the world. Cause it's the so best song good. ever made in the world. If you want to lose your entire audience, just hit that. Well, there you go. Maybe. I, I think it will attract audience. I think uh, people like it. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. And monkeys will fly oh. out of my butt. Oh, Wayne and Garth. I like it. All right. With that said, I think we've talked enough about AI right now. In fact, mm-hmm. Steve, you may not know this, but maybe I'm AI. Maybe I'm not real. Yeah, yeah you don't look real. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Um, one last thing. I came across something the other day, um, and I don't recall the name of it off the top of my head right now, but it was um, you put in your text. It's got actual humans, and the humans speak what you wrote, and it looks 100% legitimate. Like, I, my, my eyes fell out of my head when I looked at these, these things they created with this. I mean, it was an actual person with an AI voice, and you would not know that it wasn't an actual person speaking. I mean, it was that wow. good. And, wow. And uh, I'm going to be playing around with that because that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, wow, very, wacky very cool stuff. Thing, so. Yeah. Yep. Very, wow, very wacky good. stuff. All yeah. right. With that, something that's not artificially intelligent, at least not yet, is our theme song. But before we get to that, of course, what do you want to do and where do you want to go if you want to shoot better video? I say Movo. That's Movo. right, Movo. They've got everything that you need Movo, in order to Movo. shoot like a professional. If you need a shotgun microphone on your smartphone, if you need a lapel mic, if you need a wireless mic, they've got it all. If you're doing a podcast and you need a broadcast mic or even a desktop mic, they've got those as well. Stands to hold your phone and attach it to a tripod, mini tripods, lights, you name it. They've got all of these things and at a great price so that you can start shooting more professionally. Want to check it out and see? Well, head on over to raiselinks.com slash movo and see for yourself. And speaking of seeing for yourself, let's see if our theme song is AI or not. Shall we hit it? Okay. I say hit it. Here we go. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. 